Ginger Cat films. LPS, that are fabulous. Yeah, didn't see that one coming, did you? Thought it was so predictable. Ooh, didn't see that switch coming either, huh? Or this one. But anyways, today I was suggested that we should do... So I was suggested to do five things I hate about Attack on Titan. Hmm, sounds fun! So yeah, let's do that. So up at number five, we have Marco memes. I mean, after a while, they get kind of annoying and sad. Like, two and a half men? How is that funny? Th why would you... That's terrible! He's freaking dead, people, and we're just gonna make jokes about it? Like, yeah, that's it's totally something people do. Like, oh my gosh, I would hate to attend that funeral. Like, oh, the the casket was half off. Like, no! No! That's not funny! Up at number four, we have the wait for season two. I mean, seriously, guys, people are literally leaving the fandom just because of the wait. I mean, some people don't read the manga, and some people like me generally just watch the anime. So, I mean, we don't like waiting like this. And a lot of us are just leaving the fandom straight up. Don't die on us. Come on, hurry up. Number three, we have how sad this series is. I mean, for real, guys, of course I would expect to have some sad moments. But this is a little insane. I mean, this series has made me cry, and I don't usually cry. I mean, this is a pretty sad series, guys. Really, in at number two, it makes you need 3DM gear. This doesn't just go for the 3D maneuver gear, this goes for other props as well. It just makes you feel the need to cosplay or to be like them. And it just gets so infuriating how much you want a scout uniform. Like, it just gets so infuriating because, you know, of course you could buy the cosplay outfit, but that's freaking so much money that I don't have. And, you know, oh god... I'm just, please! Oh, I am so sorry, guys. Okay, let's just move on to the next one. I think you get the gist here. You just want to be, you just want to be a cosplayer so bad, and, like, you know you can't, so it's, like, infuriating. I think I'm not the only one who thinks this. I think we all, if we think about it, get a little mad about that. Just in our hearts, in our minds, we just know we absolutely need it, and we can't have it. And at number one, losing my little cinnamon roll. Yeah, I should have said spoiler alert for those of you who don't know, but Armin is freaking dead. I, I'm not happy. I'm, 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 I'm very, very, very angry. I feel very betrayed. He was my favorite character, the one character that I totally loved. My little, cute, little cinnamon roll got freaking smashed and blend and sacrificed and then he's all dead ah! i can't really talk about this too much if i get too touchy on the subject i'm actually gonna start crying um like that's seriously how upsetting it is to me it makes i mean it it plays with my emotions a lot because as a viewer, I mean, I felt very attached to Armin. I felt like I kind of understood him. I kind of knew what it was like. I kind of... Part of me just sort of understood him, in a way. I couldn't... I can't really explain, but... It's a, it's a very touchy subject, and I don't want to talk about it. But what do you want to see next on 5 Things? Tell me in the comments. Love you all and goodbye.